How could you miss concert? How could you miss concert? We needed you. I, I was just at home. I, I lost track of time trying to finish season seven of Project Runway. You weren't there. Our songs were all wrong. The skit went to shit. The show it didn't blow. Oh, because, because of you. you. I'm so sorry you were left off stage. Please, if there's anything I could do, I... Oh, but there is something I can do. Hello? Chris. Yeah, hello, who is this? Chris, it's Gus. Hey man, I think I have a way to get you to concert on time. What? Concert already happened, I missed it and I feel terrible about it. You don't have to make fun of me anymore. Come on, Chris. Have I ever lied to you before? Yes, you absolutely have. What? Name one time. How about the time you told me Viagra would make my headache go away? Oh. Okay, 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 um, name another. Okay, how about the time you pretended to be Raphael Reif and you sent out a tumultuous email? But, but that wasn't, that wasn't me! <sighs> okay, fine, fine, but I'm not lying to you this time. Come to my lab, quick! <sighs> I'm just gonna go go out. Uh, Swedish Vision Fresca! I'm there. Ah, Chris! What a pleasant surprise! You literally just called me. Chris, I have a plan to take you back in time and make sure that you never miss concert in the first place. I'm, I'm going ahead. I present to you, the Time Toaster. But Gus, all toasters are timed. Well, can a normal toaster travel through time? No, but neither can that one. Yes, it can. Allow me to demonstrate. Place your hand on the toaster like so. And give me a second. I'm just gonna walk away now and uh, it should be working. Save you the embarrassment. Let me think about it. Let me think. Okay. Well, maybe you can try pulling it in. No, it doesn't run on electricity. <laughs> it needs toast. Ah, we forgot the bread. Obviously, for a time toaster to work, you need something to toast. So here, just, let's do this again. Yeah. Ciao, man. Getting reps. Hey, has anyone seen Chris or Gus? It's 7.30 and they're not here. Maybe they didn't realize it was Fitness Friday. Maybe they thought it was Manicure Monday since we switched tanning Tuesday and Waffle Wednesday this week. Man, I was really excited to try out my new waffle recipe. Yeah, I can't get a hold of either of them. <gasps> Maybe they're still asleep. Some of us should, like, go to the room and wake them up. Guys, help. Whoa! It actually worked! Wait! Are we in Detroit? Hmm, it looks like the time toaster took us two days into the future instead of two days into the past, but... Oh, by the way, I really like your hat. What the? So you mean the apocalypse happens two days in the future? No, we're also in Detroit. Oh, okay, that makes sense. But wait! Let's get out of here. This place is giving me the heebie-jeebies. I think I know what the problem is. Hand me another slice. You forgot the bread, didn't you? I for I forgot the bread. I guess we're just gonna have to go buy some yeah, more bread then, aren't we, Chris? Bread. Okay, well, great. Have, okay, let's do it. All right. Go buy it. Jeez. Oh, Where are we gonna find bread? Just have some faith, Chris. Just our luck. Hello, good sir. I'm looking to purchase a single slice of every variety that you carry in your establishment. Here you go. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Let me just get you. Oh, shoot. I forgot my wallet back in the past. Chris, can you spot me? Oh, fine. Why are we doing this anyway? 
You see, each, each timeline has its own unique bread signature. Uh, last time we used pumpernickels, so of course we ended up in the future. In Detroit? You're getting it. Anyways, we just need to systematically go through every variety of bread in existence and eventually make it back to our own timeline. So, you mean I'll have the chance to make everything right again? Yes, Chris. <gasps> to the time toaster! Holy balls. What happened in here? Oh man, did Chris have another one of his Tupperware parties? Without us? Looks more like a war zone to me. Have you been to one of Chris's Tupperware parties? Uh, Wait, but guys, maybe there's something wrong here. Maybe Gus and Chris are in trouble. What do you mean? Well, clearly there was a massive struggle here. Maybe, maybe they were kidnapped. There were nine assailants, and they were wearing lycra bodysuits. They came in through this window, this window, and then they 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 bound them with computer cables, and then they dragged them out the window. Ooh, men's health. I'm sorry. Where are you getting any of this? Wait. Don't Chris and Gus have a bounty on their heads in the state of California? After what they did, the state of California will never be the same. I don't think the state of California abducted them. Yeah, yeah, these guys were short in stature and big on drama. Maybe it was the corollaries. I'm calling the others. We have to find Chris and Gus now. Concert's almost here. Let's go! Yeah, let's go. Has anyone considered that the room might just be messy? We find ourselves in the year 2017, where recently a new species of humanoid has emerged. It seems that they diverged from Homo sapiens and adopted a more primitive form of communication and behavior. Scientists have dubbed them Homo logarithmus. Here we see a group of adolescent males. And here we have the runt of the litter. Its mother has abandoned it due to the futility of raising such a malnourished and disfigured creature. It will be lucky if it survives the winter on its own. The logarithms seem to have spotted two members of the rival herd that are threatening their territory. The first reaction to this threat is for the logs to camouflage themselves. Fascinating. Let's explore what the intruders will do next. What just happened? I don't know. I could have sworn I saw Paul and Brian just a second ago. Right, me too. Wait, what was that? Let's go see. Oh, wait. Tommy! <laughs> oh my god, he's hideous. What happened to him? <laughs> what do you mean? It's Tommy. Remarkable. This rival herd seems to regain the power of speech. Hey you! Wh what's going on here? It looks as if the rest of our indigenous herd, realizing that the camouflage didn't deter the intruders, are resorting to hurling their own feces. Fuck! I'm not quite ready yet! Now I'm ready! Fascinating. <laughs> Well, I think we've officially searched everywhere. I think it's time to start preparing for concert without them. No, 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 that can't be. We must have missed somewhere. Did anyone check Detroit? Guys, 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 guys. I think there's a perfectly good explanation. Chris just has his birthday, right? Yeah. yeah. Gus is probably just taking him to the DMV to get his license renewed. That must be it. No, I think it's just that they aren't in this timeline yet. They went to the future in one timeline and are coming back to the present in this one, which is the past for them relatively. So I'm sure they'll be here for concert, it's just that they aren't here yet. Spoken like a true has major. Yeah, Paul, 
Clearly you know nothing about time travel. I'm not a Hass major. I cross-registered for one class at Harvard. I go to Harvard. What's a tech young? Seriously though, guys, I don't think we have any other options. We have to be in concert in less than less than five minutes. We have to run. Chris Duck! We need to get out of here. Oh, howdy! Psst, you're a dinosaur! Oh. Chris, hand me the marble rat. Not the multi grain, the marble rat! I think my legs are inside of me. Where are we this time? I, I think we're in the correct timeline. I think that was Gus. What? It was on the bagel setting the whole time, you idiot! Oh, I will admit that I overlooked that. Well, quick! We need to find them and get to concert! Is anyone going to apologize to me? 